What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Souls. This is Mr. Chad, as always. Um, so last time we beat the bed of chaos, and I flipped around for joy because I hate that motherfucker with all my heart. Anyways, we are um, in Firelink Shrine. I actually did a few things uh, off camera. I went back to the painted world of um, Aramis, Ariamis, or something. Uh, I forgot that in the newer patches that you can actually teleport to it, um, even if you kill the girl. So yeah. Whatever, that's fine. So I went back, got some stuff. Uh, I also got some other stuff. So if you notice that my Great Scythe is now plus 10. So I also did that. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be pretty good. So now we have a maximum level lightning weapon and a maximum level fire weapon. So whatever situation calls for it, we can do it. And uh, we're going to start first on this video by going to kill Nito. And Nito is quite interesting. Um, it's mainly just his ads that are annoying. Because they don't die, they revive themselves. Since Nito is technically the necromancer for them. Um, so you, you can't stop them from reviving unless you kill the necromancer. Or if you have a divine weapon, but we don't actually have a divine weapon because I chose to neglect that. That's okay, it's not a huge deal. Okay, and we're just gonna take the same exact route that we took some time ago, which is over here. Okay, and heal up. I'm just gonna get to the catacombs quickly. No, no use wasting some time. And now let's kill some bone wheels. Ah, eat it, boy. Ow! He actually didn't wheel me that time. He just hit me with his wheel. <clears throat> so, we're gonna go into one of my most hated places, and it's the Tomb of Giants. Tomb of the Giants. And the reason why it's my most hated is because it is pitch freaking black. And I mean black. It, it is... It's so dark, you can only see literally what is about a couple inches in front of you. And, uh, yeah, you can see right here. It's just this insanely oppressive, abyss-looking thing. But if you remember, when we went to Isolith, we actually got a pretty awesome item, which is called the Sunlight Maggot. The Sunlight Maggot gives you light. Hooray! So, there's actually another item that gives you light. It's called the Skull Lantern. And I actually chose not to go get it. Um, or I chose not to use it. I did go get it in a playthrough that you guys didn't see. Because I figured it was not really that important. Um, so, I, I did get it, but it, it takes up a shield slot, so it's not really that good. Okay, and I actually don't remember what these guys are weak to. I'll try both, uh, I'll try both attacks. Okay, so that does decent damage. Let's try the Fire Scythe. Um, their, their damage is comparable. It's, it's not too bad. Uh, so let's fall on this guy. Okay, sweet. And I believe... Oh man, it's so dark. I can't remember anything about this place. I know some speedrunning tricks where you can actually just jump off the side and you're there. But I, I honestly just can't remember where the hell I am, so... Ouch. Looks like fire is the way to go in this place. That's good. Great. I guess bones were, wouldn't really be affected by... Oh, I could actually just have jumped off there. Okay, I'm stupid. Okay, uh... Oh, I can't get there. <clears throat> and uh, the first time going through this place uh, really sucked. Just horrible. Because I had no idea where I was going, and it's it's so black. There are some items back over there, but uh, I'll grab those off camera. Basically, there's another ember I can get, and other stuff, but uh, we're, we're not going to do that. But uh, we are going to save Rhea. So here's Patches. Good day. What are you doing in the catacombs? Um, I can't remember what he said. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. He tells me that there's treasure down there, and uh, he wants us to go get the treasure, and I'm like, oh, really? There's treasure? Huh. 
Oh yeah, I guess there is treasure, but uh, I hope nobody kicks me off of the ledge. That would be quite unfortunate, but oh, yep. Okay. So you know how it goes, and Patches is the exact same way in this game as he was in the last, where he's sort of just a dick. And uh, he kicks you off stuff. Okay, so there's a Skull Lantern if you didn't get it inside the catacombs. Pretty cool. Yay, roll through bones. Um, the main enemies in here are going to be the Bone Towers. So they're not too difficult. Oh, hey. oh yeah, yeah. So here's Rhea. Um, so she lost her two knights, which are now hollowed. I think you can... Yeah, you can actually hear them breathing. Interesting. But, uh, yeah, here they are. So, uh, these guys went hollow once they went into the pit. And, okay. Ah. Wah. Wah. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, he's just using uh, force push, essentially. No big deal. These guys aren't that strong, anyway. Um, you're actually supposed to come back here um, a little bit sooner, but uh, there's pretty much no point since um, you can't really do anything until that golden gate is gone. Thank you. And... Okay, so now she will go back to the main area in Firelink Shrine. And uh, the guy who actually forced him in here wasn't Patches. It was actually um, that guy, um, the big old... I can't remember. The, the guy with the... the oh. Those, oh, those are Bone Towers. Um, it's the, the guy inside of Firelink Shrine who's like the, the priest. He actually was the one who forced him into here. So, uh, if you pay attention to the story, or pay attention to, to placements of NPCs and whatnot... Oh, what am I doing? <clears throat> um, there's actually, like... There, there's a bunch of side stories going on all at once. Um, one of them being this. Uh, the guy, the priest inside of Firelink Shrine actually is a traitor to these people. And uh, you'll actually see them for a little bit, those those two hollow guys that I killed, plus Rhea, and him sort of standing in Firelink Shrine saying that they're going to go on an expedition into the depths of the catacombs for the rite of kindling. Um, and that is Pinwheel. So they're going to try and take out Pinwheel. Um, they actually quite literally passed Pinwheel, but uh, whatever. Um, but yeah, so th their, their goal is to get the rite of kindling because that is, I think what the goal is for a priest to do I, of some sort of land. I can't remember exactly the story, but uh, it's something like that. Like, they have to go get the Rite of Kindling. So they go into the catacombs, fail horribly, and then, yeah, you know the rest. Okay, and I believe... Yes. Oh, okay, well, I guess I'm already up here, so... Yeah, let's, let's go down. Okay, here's a super ultra-dangerous place where there's, like, a million and one dudes here. Uh, let's see. If I do this, I could potentially kill one. Oh. Ouch. Let's see if I can kill some. I just have to kill one. Oh. 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 Alright. Let's heal up. Oh, oh, shit, 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 Heal, heal, heal. Ow, ow. Run, 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 flip, flip for your life. Oh god, this is actually making me really nervous! Ah, shit! Uh. Alright, there's one. Whoa. 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 Oh god, no! No, 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 no! Heal, heal, heal! 
Ouch. Flip for life. Flip for life. Go, 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 go. Aha. One more down. Aha. Another down. Oh, two down. Yes. Woohoo. So that was probably the absolute worst way to go about that. <laughs> but you know what? You flip to win. You flip to win. This is why I like the flippy ring, is that you have no delay on your rolls, and it's so awesome. It's wonderful. <clears throat> so we just got the large divine ember, so if you wanted to go divine weaponry, this would be the best place. Um, I would recommend, if you ever want to do divine stuff, I would recommend going for uh, clubs, something that is a club, because clubs do extra damage versus bones, or uh, skeletons, sorry. Um... So I'll always, always, always put Divine on a, uh, a club. So if you have the Great Club... Oh, sorry, I guess that was completely useless. So the Great Club and the Large Club are the two strongest weapons in the entire game. You can get the most damage out of them um, if you are uh, going Strength Build. And, uh, I mean, make no mistake, those things are seriously powerful. And not only are they powerful, but you can actually... Um, knock someone... You can stagger anybody. Even bosses. So, not only are you staggering massive fools, but uh, I'm just going to take that hit because I don't want to fall off, so... It's not too big a deal. Ow. You guys, stop. Ow. And, uh, yeah, they're going to keep firing arrows from that. I can see them in the distance there. Just a little bit. That's okay. Look at these freaking arrows in me. <laughs> I have massive internal hemorrhaging right now, but that's okay. That's okay. You know, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, okay, let's heal up a bit. And then we can fight. Oop. Ha ha. Ah. So, these guys actually don't really attack until you get pretty close to them. And uh, I know that wasn't really true when I jumped into that pit of death, but uh, yeah. For the most part, they won't attack you unless you're uh, pretty close. So let's jump down here, pillage that corpse, and drop back down. Take a bit of damage, but that's okay. And this is why the Sunlight Maggot is probably one of the best helmets. Um, at least for this place, because you don't have to cast light, you don't have to basically do anything and like you you put on the helmet and there you go you have permanent light it also kind of helps them in, in the beginning of blight town it is still kind of dark um not as much but you know what i mean okay let's drop down and get this here eyes of death so eyes of death are used for the grave lord covenant Co covenant and uh, the Grave Lords, uh, in order to get Eyes of Death, you could either farm them from Basilisks, which are the guys who, are those little frogs that um, have the Curse Breath, or what you can do is you can uh, uh, summon pl uh, Grave Lord servants to other people's worlds, and if those worlds, if, if those Grave Lord servants survive and they kill the player, um, then you win. You, uh, you get a Gravelord Eye, or a, uh, Eye of Death, sorry. So, yeah, it's kind of a cool little mechanic. Um, if you get invaded by a Gravelord, uh, Servant, um, prepare for yourself for a very, very freaking hard fight. I mean, these guys are very tough. Um, the ones in here are so goddamn horribly powerful. I mean, they are just sinister. So... Um, yeah, and w what they are, these little bone dogs, and the dogs are very strong. They are the strongest thing in this entire game, I, I, I think, anyway. And Patches, hi, how are you? Blimey. Yeah, what's it? Yeah. No matter. Hmm? Oh, no, okay, I guess he wants to fight. Okay. A bad idea. Not a very good idea, Patches. Okay, uh... Sucker. Yeah. I'm... What did I ever... <laughs> what did I ever do to you? Uh -huh. <clears throat> so that's the end of Patches. 
That's fine, because Patches is an asshole. Um, there's actually a Dark Spirit down here, and I don't know whether I want to risk getting invaded or not. Because when you get invaded in here, it's, it's serious, serious. Uh, serious, serious. It's very serious because it's super dark. And the like the phantoms can just hide in the darkness. So do I want to be do I want to be a puss? Do I want to be a puss? All right, let's do it. Let's do it, man. We got it. We got this. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. <laughs> yep, let's let's kindle. Why not? Let's a kindle. And what's really nice about kindling is that when you uh, when you do New Game Plus, the kindlings actually don't go away, so you can retain the kindles. Oh, by the way, uh, remember when I mentioned um, you can see Izalith from up here? You can, there it is right there. So there's Lost Izalith. It's pretty cool. Kind of a nice little uh, Easter egg. Well, I guess it's not an Easter egg. It's clearly there. You didn't have to find it, but yeah. I don't remember actually where the Dark Spirit comes from. I guess we'll find out, won't we? I think he's over here, maybe? Okay, so these motherfuckers right here, these bone dogs, they will fuck you up. They will fuck your shit up. Always, always use a shield against them. If you do not, you will die super fast. I hate these motherfuckers. I hate them. Um, the Gravelord versions of those are so powerful. They are so powerful. They will wreck your shit in a second flat. Make no mistake. Okay. And there's a Black Knight I can hear. There's another motherfucking dog. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, uh, uh, uh. get out of here. Yeah, so there's a there's a dog and a stupid uh, black knight on me. You bastards. Stop it. Leave me alone. I have no quarrel with you. Ah. Come here. Oh, I was dumb. I messed it up. Oh shit! The dog is like, hey, I want I want in on some of this, and now I'll back off into the darkness. Damn tracking. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. You die. A uh, dog that is breathing like a dog. Ah, damn it. Yeah. I guess I couldn't escape that. I, I heard the Black Knight coming up, but uh, I didn't. <laughs> Didn't have a chance to do anything, so yeah. Damn it all. Well, that's pretty much what I expected from the Bone Dogs. Bastards. That's okay, at least we got some kindling now. Ah, you bitch. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God, I hate these motherfuckers. I'm gonna keep saying that because, you know what? It deserves to be said. Whoa. Ow. Screw you, bitch. Oh, there's so many bone dogs everywhere. Die. Alright, so a brave warrior. Great. I do not have that. Oh my god. You can tell they just want you so bad. Ow. Ow. Oh, what am I doing? Ah! That move that they, they charge your shield, um, or they charge and sort of relentlessly attack, that that will easily one-shot you if you get uh, caught up in it without your shield up. I see that, like, hanging, floating thing over there, but I think I can get it down here. I'm trying to remember this layout here. I do know that there is a bonfire around here. Yeah, so here's that thing. An effigy shield. I don't remember what that does, but that's okay. Okay. 
Okay. Um, let's check the time, as I often do. Okay, 20 minutes, good. We're good. Okay, I still hear a bunch of dogs. I think there's only a couple left. Pretty sure there's only a couple left. And they're right here. Hey, guys. How are you today? I do not want to have to deal with the dog and this big-ass bitch. What? Come here. Come here, fool. Come here. Ah, eat it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, don't charge. Don't charge. No, no, no. No charge. Bad dog. Bad dog. Bad dog. Right here. I don't hear anymore. It's a good sign. Um, oh, there's one more. Where is he? Or is this the bonfire? Yep, here's the bonfire. So this is the bonfire to the Tomb of the Giants. So if you uh, come here, then uh, you'll be able to, um, yeah, you'll be able to warp right to this spot. Let's level up our vitality. Why not? We're almost at 50. Now we have to kill those stupid fuckers again. Ah! Uh, die, I say. Die, I say. Heal through the pain. Yay. Okay. And I can't remember if there's a dog below me or not. But uh, here's like a tricky jump. You're supposed to jump up to there to get to that ring. So let's see if I can do it. Yep. Whoa. Okay. Since we have awesome reach, uh, yeah, that's what the this is what the scythe is made for, really. It's just these super sweeping attacks. Okay, and I need to drop down into here. Okay. Get some white titanite chunks. Those are for the divine upgrade. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Cool it. Oh. Thanks. Come here. Oh. Uh. I, don't, I don't want you to do that. It's bad. Bad dog. The only thing I can, I can say is that these guys give you a lot of souls. Oh, my gosh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So it looks like their attack pattern is do two normal attacks and then do the charge. Okay, let's just let's just get around him. Now that we have, uh, it's when they stand up. Ouch. Bastards die. Yeah, so when they stand up and they do that move, uh, you're pretty much screwed. Um. Right here's where I need to go. There we go. Okay, and I believe that would be the last of them. I think that's the last of them. Yes. Groovy. All right. We are almost to Nito. He is right around this corner. We can keep these parts go or this part going until. Uh, we beat him. Oh, by the way, this is Ash Lake. This is where the, the trees of the dragons were. So there's another little cool little thing. And I just totally missed a lizard by looking at that nice, pretty scenery. Uh, I hate that there's, like, no music. Because it's, it, it's like the atmosphere just crushes you. It's crazy. It's it's so oppressive, if, if that makes any sense. You just never, you never feel comfortable, ever. I mean, I love it for that, but, you know, I also hate it for that, you know. You know what I'm saying. Okay. Ow. Oh, what? What did I get hit by? Oh, who cares? Okay. Oh, I see a little, uh, shiny. Let's go get the shiny. 
What is it? White Titanite Chunk. Okay, so I guess these Bone Towers drop some White Titanite Chunks. I never knew that. At least they've never dropped them for me. Tch, I'm just kicking shit all over the place. Yay, kick. Okay, so here is uh, a lot of Bone Wheels. Or Bone Wheels, Pinwheels. Uh, we're just gonna flip to go get them. Because I hate these bastards. Okay. Once they're dead, I believe they stay dead. Ha! Like this. Alright. Um, this, this place right here is actually the best place in the whole entire game. Oh, there's the Master of the Child again. Is the whole entire game to farm humanities. Uh, not from these guys, but from little demon children that come out of the, come out of the, the swamp. See them right here? So these guys... Well, oh, ouch. They will give you a ton of humanities. Um, just a shit ton of them. And in addition to that, they give you quite a bit of experience. So if you're sort of hurting for either, you can come down here and do some stuff. Oh, little demon babies. How lovely. But uh, one of the best things about the scythe is that you can do like this. And knock them all out at once. Um... If they, if they drop an item, you got to be really quick on the draw to get it, because if you don't, then you're going to lose it, because they're going to despawn. Let's see. I need to go find... I need to find something. What am I finding? Oh. Ah, there's one. Oh, wait, never mind. That's why Titanite Chunk. So these little pinwheels drop... Titanite chunks as well, as well as the other masks. So if you want to look for Mask of the Father, Mask of the Mother, Mask of whatever, um, this is where you get them. So let's kill these little children. I know that sounds funny. Or it's not funny, I guess, but... Um, it pretty much proves that, like, Nito is sort of a sick fuck. And... My, my, my scythe uh, is not seeming to hit. There we go. So you see that little glowing orb, uh, and it disappeared immediately. That was, uh, that was a humanity. They all drop humanities. It's the only thing that they drop. <clears throat> so, oh, got a white tonight slab. Sweet. So that is for the maximum upgrade of, uh, of, uh, the divine weapons. Great. That's perfect. Yeah, you want, you want to farm humanities? Come here. That's that's the lesson learned today. Alright, I'm just gonna... These guys are annoying. See how they're all, like, congregating down there? <laughs> it's only if you touch the water will they come out. So you gotta kind of do battle with them all over the place. Alright, soul of a hero. Go through all the worshippers here. Alright, so here's Nito. I believe he's weak to either... I don't remember. I'm pretty sure he's weak to fire, but that's okay. Uh, first thing, you're going to take a ton of damage when you actually jump down into here. And, again, it's sort of a beginner's trap, if you don't know. But, uh, yeah, there's no way to avoid this fall damage unless you are... Uh, um, oh, holy crap. Okay. Didn't mean him for to do that. Let's uh, do this. Um, so one thing about this fight, that's quite annoying, is that, uh, the skeletons over here... Ah, gotcha. Uh, they can be hurt by Nito, but they cannot be killed at all, unless you have a divine weapon, which I don't. We're just gonna run over to Mr. Nito, and he is gonna kill him for us. He's actually weak to divine, of course, but yeah. He's definitely one of the coolest looking bosses, I'll tell you. Just keep running around him. He should be okay. Uh, he might do like a pretty 
pretty awesome move of uh, it has like a like a storm of swords essentially. Not Game of Thrones, but this is like just like a bunch of swords. Oh, there it is. And here, here's another move where he sort of explodes. And it'll kill everything around him. Which is cool. That gives us now free range to kill it. Hooray! Mito is dead. Alright. There's another Lord Soul for us. So Nito's not too hard. Uh, just keep close to him at all times and you should be fine. Uh, try not to go too far into the arena because you'll just aggro more skeletons. Uh, try to get him over to you if you can. Alright, so let's level up our dude. We're almost at 50 stamina, and that's where we want to be. So uh, one more, and we can do that. Let's, uh, okay, so that's actually a perfect time to stop. Yeah, so, uh, cool. We defeated Nito. We have a nice shiny glowy hat. And this has been Mr. Chad. I will talk to you guys on the next episode. See ya.